Lately. Scarce? How about totally non-existent? How about totally disappeared? Ever since Mr. McGregor put that fence in our meadow, it's become a real struggle to find food. Well, that doesn't stop us crows. We'll just fly right over it. <coughs> yeah, except I'm so hungry I can hardly fly. I can't even crow. <coughs> See? Don't go over to Mr. McGregor's fence, you hear? You don't want to tangle with him. But we love his garden. Come on, let's go check it out before I faint. Flip flat, flip be careful, flat. be very careful. Well, Mr. Bunny, I'm glad you and your son could join us this morning. Yes, we did make great music together, didn't we? Yes, we did. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, mind if I help? Sure. What do you want to do now, Mopsy? I want to go down to the creek and splash in the water. What about you, Flopsy? <coughs> I want to go over to the hill and roll in the water. What about you, Cottonville? I want to go back to the table and eat. <coughs> but there's no food to eat. Well, I'm so hungry, I'll eat the table. You can't do that. Why not? You'll get splinters in your teeth. No! Well, Peter and I know where we can find lots of food. We do? And we're going to get some. We are? Anybody want to tag along? Lots of food. <coughs> where is it? Yeah! Where is it? Uh, down that way a bit. That way? What's down that way? Mr. Mr. McGregor's garden? No, no, he's not talking about Mr. McGregor. He's talking about Mr. McGregor's garden. Mr. McGregor's garden with a fence around it? Mr. McGregor's garden with the fence around it and the vicious cat in it? Mr. McGregor's garden with the fence around it and the vicious cat in it and the animal hating Mr. McGregor standing guard? That, that Mr. McGregor's, McGregor's garden? garden? That's right. That, that's right. You can't do that. Who says we can't do that? Flops is right. We can't do that. And why not? Because Mr. McGregor will catch you and, and stuff you in the oven. An oven? And cook you until you're well done. Well done? And serve you on the platter for dinner. Oh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. <laughs> dinner. Benji, I'm too young to be somebody's dinner. Don't worry, Peter. He won't see us. He won't? 
Not if we're covering. Keep out of his sight. I'll tell Mom. You better not. I will. I will. You won't. You won't. Mama! Benji, do something! All right, Peter. Benji, what are you doing? Just getting out of here before your mama comes. What's going on here? Quiet down, all of you. But Mama... Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter, I want all four of you to go down near the creek and gather some blackberries for me. But Mama, <clears throat> we've already picked the last of them. Well, maybe some new ones have grown. Since yesterday? There's nothing in the cupboards to eat. If all the blackberries are gone, I may have to eat the bushes. But Mama, Peter said he's not going with us. He said he was going to. He said he was going to Mr. McGregor's garden. Yikes, did you have to tell her? Really now, Peter, what is this all about? Well, Mom, I don't see why we have to go hungry when a garden is only a short distance away, down the lane, where we used to play all the time. Peter! And it's lunch with all kinds of vegetables. Like carrots and... Benjamin! It's true that we have to go in further in search of food, but... But it's much too dangerous for little bunny rabbits like you to go down there. He patrols his garden like a soldier and he has a vicious cat. But think of all the goodies to eat. And think of all the baddies that could happen. Don't worry, Mrs. Rabbit. He won't see us, really. That's what Peter's papa said too, Benjamin. Papa, but he's... Yes, Flopsy, he's gone. Forever. I never told you, children, but I guess now this is the right time. Shortly after Mr. McGregor's garden was finished, we did not know all the dangers. So your father went in search of food, but, sad to say, he never returned. child. You don't know all the dangers that lurk this world. So from now on, listen to your elders and we'll keep you safe. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. And I want all my children to be safe always. You pay attention to Benjamin. You may not be as lucky as I was. Yes, ma'am. I'd rather be safe than stuffed in an oven. I'd rather be safe than bacon, baked in a pie. I'd rather be eating a pie. I'm so hungry. <laughs> well, little Miss Cottontail, if you pick enough blackberries, then I'll bake you a pie. How about that? A pie? Oh, goody. <laughs> Go, everyone. I bet I can beat you to the creek. Bet you can. Wait for me. And what about you, Peter? I I guess I'll help with the berry picking. Good boy. Oh, Peter? Yes, Mama? You're still wearing that old handkerchief, honey. I finished your new jacket last night. Go inside and get it. Okay. And then stay with your sisters, you hear? Yes, ma'am. Benjamin, you'll go home this instant. <coughs> but, Papa, I want to play with Peter. You'll go home. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Okay, Papa. 
Well, Mrs. Rabbit, I don't know what kids would do without their parents to guide them. And, Mr. Bunny, I don't know what, what parents would do without their children to love. Well said, Mrs. Rabbit. Well, I'm off to the market to buy some bread and milk. My destination exactly. Mind if I stroll along? I like that. <laughs> now, I'm kind of worried about Peter, you know. He takes this whole being a man thing rather seriously. Well, you should talk. Your little Benjamin Jr. is always causing trouble. My Benjamin? Never! Well, you know, sometimes. I guess they're learning, like all children. No doubt. crunching and munching. But what about Mr. McGregor? He won't see us. And that sneaky cat of his. It sleeps all the time. How do you know? Because I've been there before. You have? In fact, I've been there several times. But, but... There's nothing to it, Peter. You could bring back lots of food for your family. I could? Of course. It's a ravaged dreamland. Food as far as the nose can smell. I can't. You can. I shouldn't. You should. I won't. You will. Peter, think of the place as Mr. McGregor's open-air cafe. Open Air Cafe. Bugs and berries! Bugs 
and berries and berry nuts. Nothing's better for your appetite. Bugs and berries and berries and bugs. Absolutely pure delight. Months, lots of places where we can dine. Many of them are mighty fine. But of all the places we can stop, only one gets two thumbs up. If we have thumbs. As an expert eater, I have reviewed every menu, every food. And I'm telling you, there can be no doubt. This is the best, north or south. What about east and west? Bugs and berries and berries and bugs. Nothing's better for your growling tummy. Bugs and berries and berries and bugs. Absolutely purely yummy. Lots of travelers look for a nice motel where they can sit and rest a spell. But when I'm traveling, I got no time to rest. I'm so hungry, I could eat my best. If you had a best. When I'm traveling places, I pack a stack just to keep me from a snack attack. But if this is where I'm coming, kid, then I'd pack my big blue bin. You don't want to get messy. Now, where did I put that dag lamp hoe? Should've been right here where I left it. Is this what you're looking for, honey pot? So you had it all this time. Give it here, woman, I've got work to do. I put it away for you yesterday. Well, don't touch my tools, you hear? I don't want anybody to touch my tools but me. Basket, where's my basket? Is this what you're looking for, honey pot? Hide my basket for me too, are you? Elmo McGregor, can't we move back to town? I miss the girls down at the beauty salon, and I don't enjoy it out here. And I feel like we're disturbing the animals putting this garden here. I like disturbing the animals, Alice May. And besides, I want a garden, and I want it right here. We're not moving, we're staying. All right, honey pot. Wake up, you lazy flea-bitten cat. Catch a bird, catch a cold, catch something. <laughs> Elmo, please, leave the cat alone. Oh yes, oh yes, Cam. It's a beautiful day for a picnic with somebody else's food. As long as that somebody else doesn't see us. Don't worry, we're perfectly safe. Caw! Did you hear that? Caw! There it is again, sound like a, a crow. Caw! Caw! No, that doesn't sound like a crow. Caw! Yes, it does. Caw! 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 No, it doesn't. Caw! What the, dad blam? Doesn't sound like anything I've ever heard before. I better go check this out. I hate bugs with so many legs. Why is that? Because they tickle my throat as they go down. <laughs> crows! Why it's a couple of dad blam crows eating my gooseberries and bugs. I think we better skip dessert. Why? Because the cook just showed up and he's not happy. All right, you low down thieving crows. Out of my garden. Out of my garden. And don't come back ever. Stupid crows. Why are you destroying all my work? Elmo McGregor, why must you chase the birds like that? You didn't see what they were doing? They were eating my, my... Well, they were hungry. I don't care. This is my garden. I know what I'll do. Where's my net? I said, where's my net? Don't shout, honey pot. It's right here. Hiding my things again, were you? Nobody else be around here. Everything has its place. And this net's place is over by these gooseberries. Let them get through that. If you're so worried about the crows, why don't you just get a better scarecrow? What do you mean? What's wrong with the scarecrow? Nothing. You see? Except it needs a new hairdo, and it doesn't scare the crows. Well, it scares me. Whoa. See? It needs more <laughs> clothes to give off a stronger scent. The crows will smell it and stay away. If they want to smell something, they can smell the cat. All right, honey pot. Whatever you say. That's right. Whatever I say. By the way, when's lunch? But, Elmo, 
You just had breakfast. I didn't ask you when I had breakfast, woman. I asked you when's Ooh. lunch. Well, anytime you want it, I guess. I want it now. Now? Yes, now. Weeding the garden made me hungry. But you didn't weed the garden. Well, I chased the crows. Now that made me hungry. And watch my socks while you're at it. Clean and sweep and wash and scrub. That's all I do. Chop and mince. Cook the grub. <laughs>